Welcome to our Spree 2016 Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to show you how to program a bottom-up roughing strategy using the solid mill or solid mill turn traditional pocketing operation. This type of roughing utilizes our profit milling tool motion pattern and allows you to bury your tool at the full depth of the pocket and step up in Z to the starting depth that is set in the operation. Processing multi-level pockets in this fashion will significantly decrease your cycle times for your roughing sequences. Here we have a part that contains four different Z levels within a pocket, as denoted by the red, blue, yellow, and gray sections. To program the bottom-up roughing strategy, we will first create our feature. To do this, select the entire part as your input and go to the Create Features toolbar and select the Pocket Feature Recognition. This will create a pocket folder that we can use to program this bottom-up roughing strategy. The operation is accessed through the Solid Mill Traditional toolbar. You can then select the pocketing operation from this toolbar. The bottom-up roughing strategy must be used with a profit milling tool motion pattern. This is a high speed machining technique that takes advantage of a light radial depth of cut and extremely high feed rates and spindle speeds. The bottom up strategy is activated by setting the incremental depth in the operation equal to the total depth that is picked up from the pocket. The second thing you need to do is change the incremental depth calculation from varying to constant. These two changes will activate the bottom up strategy in this profit milling tool motion pattern. Once the operation is applied, we will see each of these Z levels contained in this pocket are, po are processed independently from one another. The bottom-up strategy will significantly reduce your cycle times by machining the full depth of cut first and then stepping upwards to rest machine the areas that have not been roughed. That's it for today's tip video. We hope that you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter or share this video. And stay tuned for our other tips and tricks.